In this video, I'm going to be sharing my honest thoughts and opinions about the marble nail it wraps that I found off Amazon. So I'm going to go ahead and just show the base coat that I used. I used OPI's National Base Coat and I applied a layer of this to the nail, including the free edge. And then once this was dry, I decided to do two coats of a white polish. From my experience using nail it wraps in the past and from what I've seen people do on Instagram as well as YouTube, they all say to use a white base or a base of some sort that's close to the nail wrap color. That way, if any of your sides of your nails are peeking out, then it's not going to be as noticeable. So I decided to do two coats of Essie's Blanc. And everything will be linked in the description box below as well as the marble decals that I used. I actually did my right hand off camera because it's a little bit easier for me to do my dominant hand off camera. As it can get to be a weird angle. And then I'm going to go in with a second coat and make sure to cap the free edge. I do clean up as I go as well. All right, so for the transfer part, these are the stickers that I'm using and all nail it wraps, nail decals, they all come with a film, like a plastic film over them. You wanna remove that because otherwise you'll end up gluing the film to the decal. I did that once and that was, that was not fun. <laughs> I only cut a few out and I just dunked them in some water for a little bit. They say to wait about 30 seconds, but I've noticed that maybe 10, 15 is enough. And one of the tricks that I saw on YouTube, which is actually brilliant, is to take the decal, flip it upside down, and put it on a stamper, and then stamp it directly onto your nail because it helps you with placement. And this is so easy to do, and I would highly recommend it. I just like to pat it into place, and then I take some nail polish remover on a detail brush and or a uh, cleanup brush, and I go around the edges to dissolve the edges of the decal and make it lay flat against the nail. And this also helps to um, make it look a little bit cleaner. So I love marble nail art. I've said this multiple times, but there are moments when I really don't want to have to go through the cleanup process because marble nails, as beautiful and as unique as they are, marble nails can be messy to clean up. And I thought these would be a really great thing to try out because... I love marble nails, but I thought they would also be really great for if you're in a pinch and you want to do something fun, but you don't have the time. The best way to remove the excess decal around the cuticle is to actually just like slightly dab the cuticle with a nail polish remover. You don't want to do it too much and you don't want the brush to be too wet because it can actually go uh, through the rest of the decal and it can cause um, it to have some micro tears. That happened to me. And the best way I have found to remove the edge of the decal by the free edge is to just take a Q-tip dipped in nail polish remover and it instantly dissolves it, which is really kind of fun to watch. And then I'm just going to continue to cut them. I didn't want to do all of them at one time because I wanted to go one, at, one nail at a time or two nails at a time, which I think is a little bit easier. One other little tip that I have for applying nail art wraps is you want to make sure that there really there are no creases, no wrinkles in the wrap because that will unfortunately affect how it lays on the nail. So try to get it as smooth and as even as you possibly can, but be very careful because these are very delicate and you can very easily tear them. But I have just found doing very lightly works really, really well. Again, I would highly recommend doing the stamper trick. This works really, really well. And once again, I'm just going to go ahead and try to clean up the sides here. So while I was doing this, I thought, these are awesome. <laughs> I really liked them. Again, I think nail hit wraps are a genius to begin with. But I really liked the fact that they were marble. And I've actually never seen marble nail hit wraps before. So I thought that was really, really fun. I also loved the blue pattern because it kind of reminded me of the ocean, which I love. I love ocean themed things. It's just so relaxing to look at. And then I just take a Q-tip and once again, dissolve the free edge. And for the middle finger here... Now, one thing I did notice about the middle finger compared to the rest of the fingers is that this one did seem to fit my nail 100%. And um, I don't really know how to fix that. 
but I didn't really have that issue on the other nails. So I don't know if it was just the size of the middle finger. I don't know. But my best advice would be make sure you have a layer or two of a similar color nail polish underneath. That way it's not no as noticeable. And of course for the thumb, I wanted to include all the nails this time around. This one was really great. Uh, like I said in the beginning of this video, I didn't film my right hand because these were a little tricky to put on my dominant hand. <laughs> But another reason why I love nail art wraps in general, really great way to get really intricate, fun designs on both of your hands. And you don't have to worry about not being really good at free handing. So I'm going to go ahead and seal these in with Essie's Gel Setter Top Coat. I would recommend using a little bit of a thicker top coat because I have noticed that using a thicker top coat with nail decals like this just seems to hold a little bit better, but that's just my personal preference. You can use any top coat you want. And then I went ahead and let this dry, and I just showed the products that I used. And then once the first layer was dry, I went ahead and did a second layer. Now, one thing I did notice that, and I, this is not the decal's fault, but the top coat got a bunch of bubbles in it, which you can't really tell in the video, but that drives me insane, and that is not the decal's fault. I think there's something wrong with this top coat. But um, you could totally use a newer top coat if you wanted to. This one has just been in my collection for a little while now.